Well, on that end, I think it's time for a susicle. It's been a while. And while there's not much going on in terms of controversy, I did find a few little nuggets that I'd like to discuss. So here we go. Since rock and roll died, promotion's been rough. We're bombarded with gimmicky internet stuff. Very few rights and a great deal of wrongs, like Mark Tremonti's Christmas and Sinatra songs. Artemis Pyle has returned from somewhere with a star-studded guest Skinner tribute affair. So after you've downed that fifth shot of Jaeger, you can endure Simple Man by Sammy Hager. Ugh. After reading gimmicks like these, we concluded we can come up with projects equally stupid. So sit back and listen while we explore the notion of Snaggletooth's highly unlikely promotions. In honor of rock's most enduring performers, how about a Kiss show interpreted by Transformers? Or as a tribute to the Masters of Blues, Lady Gaga plays easy top songs on kazoos. The Bon Jovi puppet show would just make a fortune, all proceeds to benefit John's plastic surgeon. Coming soon to your town, one you cannot ignore, Ted Nugent and his loincloth wrestling a boar. Rolling Stone magazine has discovered Dolly Parton rocks, an arena of rock benefit for discarded socks. Or how about James and Lars head back to the garage for a five record concept with Nicki Minaj. So many ideas and we're just getting started. Let's take rock and roll to places uncharted. Our ideas are sure to entertain and inspire, but can we get Ozzy to finally retire? This is the Snaggletooth Rock and Roll Podcast.